All right, so today we're going to be talking about Nahida, and especially because Nahida has just got her rerun, a lot of people are either getting her for the first time or getting some constellations for Nahida. Now, a lot of people are either going for C2 or C6, and luckily enough, today we are going to be testing out C2 Nahida to see the difference between C0 and C2. So we will be comparing the damages for all the different reactions for C0, and then we'll be doing it to C2. Now, when it comes to doing these tests, we will be using the same artifacts, same weapons, same all that type of stuff to make sure that we have the same numbers throughout. And also, we will not be using the burst, although this will increase the numbers, we will not be using the burst so that we are able to only take note of the effect of C2. But of course, if we ever popped a burst while we're using the constellations, this would end up making the damage skyrocket. But for the most part, Constellation 2 is basically when opponents are marked by the skill, you will be able to get these effects with Nahida. Burning, Bloom, Hyper Bloom, and Burgeon all are going to be able to have a crit chance. So they're going to have 20% crit rate and they're going to have 100% crit damage onto it. Now these do not stack with your already existing crit rate and crit damage. This is its own separate scaling. And then also within 8 seconds of being affected by Quicken, Aggravate, or Spread, their defense is decreased by 30%. Now as you can see, both of these effects are really, really cool. But we're going to see how cool they are in comparison to C0 and C2. Now, of course, before I start this showcase and this comparison, I do want to say that you don't necessarily need to have C2. Nahida's absolutely amazing at C0, and if you don't want to spend more than you have to, C0 is an absolutely good stopping point for Nahida. Uh, but other than that, C2 is a really good stopping point as well, just because of the amount of value you get from the crit reactions and also being able to decrease the defense by 30%. So this is really cool to look at. But other than that, we're going to be testing all these different reactions and stuff with Nahida and we're going to be comparing it for C0 up to C2 so we're going to be doing that in a quick second now that we got our test dummy in line we are going to be testing out every single reaction when it comes to dendro and we're going to be comparing it from its C0 to its C2 equivalent we're going to be using the same characters all throughout Nahida will be with the Deepwood memory set on a full EM build. She does have 963 EM. She has her signature as well. If we did have the Dendro bonus, we'd be at a thousand plus, but oh well. And then we also have her E crown. So this is all things to make note of when it comes to using Nahida and all her damage numbers that are gonna be happening in this video. Also a quick note on the characters we will be using to test these reactions. For the most part, we're going to have Kuki Shinobu for the Quicken slash the Hyper Bloom trigger, and then we're going to have Toma for the Burning slash um, Burgeon trigger. Now, the only thing that's going to be a little bit of a problem is Kokomi. She will be the Dendro Core maker, and she also will probably be the one that is exploding the Dendro Core. So if you see that the numbers aren't as high as you want them to be, it's because my Kokomi is built for healing and not Elemental Mastery at the moment. So for the Dendro Core making portion, we might see a little bit of a you know damage decrease but for the most part we should still see an increase between c0 and c2 now we're going to be testing the burning reaction for nahida at c0 now we are going to test the dendro core damage on nahida at c0 of course now we are going to test the burgeon reaction at c0 for nahida Now we are going to test Hyper Bloom out for C0 Nahida. Now we are going to be testing the other effect, which is the minus 30% defense with these three reactions, which is Quicken, Aggravate, and Spread. Looks like it's 11k for Quicken slash Spread because Nahida is using the, uh, applying the Dendro after Kuki uses her skill. This is making it so that when he, he is in the Quicken state, he also takes Spread damage afterwards. So this makes it a little bit hard to try to get the separate Quicken reaction by itself. But for the most part of using Nahida, I guess you could say this will end up happening anyway. So now that we've tested all of the reactions for both of the effects for C2, now we're going to actually activate C2, which we have right here. We're going to be using the Burning Bloom, Hyper Bloom, Burgeon, and then the Quicken, Aggravate, and Spread effects. Now the ones we're going to be looking at may take some tries because yes, Burning Bloom, Hyper Bloom, and Burgeon are going to have crit rate of 20%. 
So eventually we will get a crit damage uh, hit on those and we'll be looking at those in real time. So we'll be comparing C0 to C2 and we'll see how much extra damage we're going to get from C2. Everything from here on out is C2 and everything beforehand was C0. So I'm very excited to see what we are going to be looking at. But first, of course, we're going to be taking a look at burning. Okay, as you can see, we have 1,502 and occasional 3,000, um, 3,005 damage. So we have 1,502 for the regular damage, and then of course 3,502, if I'm not wrong, for the burning damage for burning. This is really nice. This is basically double the damage for the reaction. So I'm really excited to see the really high hitting um damage reactions for dendro and c2 nahida now one thing you also got to know is that the more this thing is ticking the more of a chance that it's going to be hitting those crit hits and the fact that you know you'll get lucky and get a lot more of those crit hits you're going to just be getting a lot of extra damage than you would have initially so that is the burning version of c2 nahida with a 3500 tick with some of these 1502 ticks now we are going to be testing the dendro core explosion that comes from nahida c2 Okay, that was for sure a crit hit on the Dendro Core. 8,573 for the basic Dendro Core making. All right, we're going to try the Dendro Core making once more to see the accurate damage for it. And he's going to hyper bloom it again. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, good. Hopefully, we get to see that damage again. Okay, 8,373. Now, we'll be looking at the Virgin version of the crit hit for C2. Um, we're going to make sure I don't get hit before I start testing it out. 48k damage from the crit hit on the ooh, on a full EM Toma or whatever unit that you're going to have full EM on for Pyro. That is going to be nasty. The really nasty thing when it comes to using Burgeon is that once you get that nasty hit of 24k or 48k, you will still get the burning ticks afterwards. This goes for C0 and C2, but with the crit hits from C2, not only are you going to get a nasty 48k hit, but you also might get some nice um, ticks off of that crit burning as well. So that's really, really nice to see. Um, you get all that extra damage from Pyro. So yeah, that is really nasty in terms of what you can get in terms of damage for that. Now, I'm really excited to see the aggravate spread and hyper bloom type stuff. So we're going to be looking at that in a quick second. Uh, he has quicken on him. No. Oh wow, 46k. Woo! Did you see all that damage off of my Sonori? Holy! <laughs> Big. Thank you. 46k. Holy crap. Hyper Bloom just got so much better with that. Holy crap. That is some nasty damage coming off of that. Okay, so now we've seen. Not only have we seen a 48k hit for. Hyper Bloom and Burgeon, which is really, really nice. It's the main amount of damage you're going to do. You're really never going to really see burning and um, what is it called? Bloom damage by itself, unless you're playing Nilu or just a weird burning team. But for the most part, Hyper Bloom and um, Burgeon are going to be the most used reactions when you're using random Dendro teams. But now we're going to be checking out Quicken, Aggravate, and Spread. Now, the thing with Kuki and the thing with Nahida is that they basically conflict each other when using this. So, basically, all the reactions end up happening. As you can see from the footage from before with C0, we end up hitting from 11k to 20-something-ish k. Um, so, we're going to see those two different sets of numbers in this um, new set of, I guess you could say, damage reactions. And then we're going to be seeing the second effect take place, which is going to be, instead of the crit hit, we're going to be getting the um, defense is decreased by 30%. So this is going to help a lot with Dendro DPSs and stuff like that. It's going to be really, really cool to see what Nahida used that. Um, just because those are some really good Dendro reactions for main DPSs. So we're going to see how much extra damage we're going to get with this um, using Kuki stuff. So 28k, we don't know if that's the critted version. Not the critted version, but we see we're getting a little bit of extra damage coming from this. Um, I'm pretty sure I see an increase of like some type of thousand percent for the minus 30 percent now you're not going to see a crazy amount of extra damage coming from the you know i guess you could say nahida or the reactor this is really going to be a good constellation for characters like al haitham tainari all the characters that would benefit from this percent of defense being reduced by 30 percent so stuff like that is going to help a lot when it comes to main dps's like tainari um kave maybe possibly depending on how he plays out um, other characters like, I guess you could say, 
Nilu is going to help out when it comes to the first effect. I'll hate them and Tainari for the second effect. So yeah, this is overall amazing constellation. You're going to see a big boost in damage. Do I think it's necessarily worth the crazy amount of primos that is possibly going to be spent trying to get C2? Not really. I do think this is a very luxury style constellation. And for people that like to see big numbers or people like to get things done quickly, I think this will be a worth constellation to invest in. But for people that are looking to get Nahida and seeing her in her best value, I do think C0 is possibly still one of the better values she's still an absolutely amazing character busted character overall so you shouldn't worry about trying to stress over c2 um this is purely a luxury slash you want to see big numbers type constellation um c1 and c2 together are going to be absolutely amazing together so i'm pretty sure this will add on a crazy ton of damage other than that that's pretty much it for this video c2 nahida is definitely in my opinion really worth the investment if you're willing to go that far for it because it's really cool to see all these really big numbers especially with how big of a deletion of the the health bar it was for Masanori when you got those crit hits with Burgeon and um, Hyper Bloom and especially when you're playing with teams dedicated for those type of play styles you're gonna be seeing a lot of these numbers very frequently and not just a one-time thing so this is really exciting to see I still do think that constellation wise C0 Nahida is absolutely fine um, but make sure you should level her up to 90 get her EM up and all that type of stuff but other than that thank you guys so much for watching hopefully y'all enjoyed this video if y'all did make sure to leave a sub and a like but other than that thank you guys so much for watching see you on the next one and peace